In this week's vlog, we're gonna show you how to transform a nothing empty roof into a beautiful roof deck with solar and the bangingest internet system ever. Yes, yes, and yes. That's right, we're turning our nothing boring roof into a masterpiece. Welcome to Roof Week, Frank. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to wait to the end for the big reveal, but we are bummed. After a full year on the road with nothing but grape solar panels and fans on the roof, the deck was a must have. While you're working, you can't forget to dance with your dog. Dance, 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 body. Roof week, <laughs> get it going. At the end of this video, we're gonna tell you how you can win a huge prize by guessing how many trips to Home Depot we're making. Yes, and right now, I'm headed for number 13. Ah. Let's get into this F and A vlog. So step number one of building out this roof rack for the ProMaster, they have these super handy, I don't know, like little nook things. And so we bought mounts that go right into those nooks that's gonna allow us to use them? the kind off. Yes, of course. You can show them, come over here. This makes it to where we don't have to drill into the actual van, and then that way we're not creating more holes than we need to, and there's a chance of less leak then. We made a mistake right off the bat. <laughs> is I put these nuts on before we had the roof racking system. So don't make the mistake I made and wait to put these on until you have the whole racking system in place, and then put on these nuts. Less leak, less rust, less just like ugliness. And then if you ever want to change anything, you can just easily remove these bolts. Well, not so easily because he's snapping them off snap right them. now. Yep. But we're going to be using Kindoff, which is also called Super Strut, which yep. is also like an electrical channel, something like that. This stuff that. is not inexpensive, but it's definitely less expensive than 8020, which we looked into. Uh, the problem with 8020 is that you have to purchase it online and get it shipped and all that. So this stuff we could actually just buy at the hardware store and you can buy all of the mountings and brackets and everything at the hardware store. So we went with that. We've seen a lot of other people do it on the internet and it's worked out great for them years this one later. This came right off. No, nah, that's good. I mean, I was hoping that they would all come off like this, but for whatever reason, this one did and the rest didn't. Step one, Frankie is gonna remove these so that we can put them back on the right way with the kind off in place with all of our washers and stuff. We secretly did two more trips to the hardware store. The first one to get the kind off, we pre-ordered online and picked it up last night. And then this morning we went and got a bunch of hardware that we're gonna need. Two. So I think that is Home Depot six and seven. Yes. If you guys missed it in our last video, we're running a contest. If you can guess how many times we're gonna go to Home Depot during this van build, you can be entered to win a sweet prize, yet to be determined, but it's gonna be awesome. You guys might not know this, but right now we are building in a parking lot. We do not have any land or property that we could build on. So we're lucky enough to have my mother that lives here in Sarasota, Florida, and we are literally building in the parking lot of the complex that she lives in. Nobody seems to mind that we're doing it and everybody's actually kind of interested, which is pretty cool to think about because a lot of people could be mean and not like the fact that you're building there and they could report it or whatever and try to stop you in your progress. But yeah, so we're very fortunate and very lucky that we have a place to build, but we don't really have any tools. So we got to figure out that situation next. We've done a little bit of super scientific math. I think what we're going to do is do two long pieces and then two three foot pieces at the end. You're only supposed to have 16 inches between uh, Joist. support joists. So that way your floor doesn't bend in. Another pro tip is that make sure that you're buying stainless steel everything. Stainless steel bolts, stainless steel washers, because if you get galvanized or zinc, they'll rust out. I almost tripped right over I almost ate it. I almost ate it. <laughs> Do not cut the kind off inside the van or on top of the van because then you'll create shards of metal, which will then create rust. So we're going to cut them outside the van on the floor outside. That way it's less of a cleanup for us. We will clean up the floor though. That way there's not little pieces of shard of metal going everywhere. So now we're going to take a wire brush and just kind of gently work the edges so that it's nice and smooth and there's no little metal shards left behind. Makes it so that way when you 
touch the edge, you don't get cut by it. But what we'll do at the end of this is we'll try to find some rubber material that we could put on the back end of this. That way when we're climbing up on the roof or going to do anything, we don't rub on this and cut ourselves. And the absolute most important job of the day is... Name Paco. Me and Paco are working so hard at building the roof deck system. Building the roof deck system. They're always working so hard. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> I almost fell. Perfect, literally perfect. For this year, we're gonna be using washers and then a lock nut. On the next one, we're gonna be using washer, lock washer, nut. A washer, lock washer, nut. Lock, <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> we gotta work on our wrap. We're gonna do the wrap. Wash, lock, nut. 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 Ooh, 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 ooh. That business ain't going nowhere. That's 140 pounds of dead weight. <laughs> The next step is actually going to be hooking up the solar panels so that way we could see exactly where we're gonna lay them on the roof. So that way when we cut those five foot cross beams, we know exactly where we're gonna put them. A piece that's gonna fall. Alex has no care sometimes. I love her. That was an accident. No, I know it was, but the care. I mean, you put it to where it was lopsided already on a lopsided. <laughs> I blame the tripod. We should probably buy a new one. I think we figured out the configuration for the solar panel. Yeah. We're going to put it back inside for now and then keep working with the Kindoff to make the support. And then we got to also figure out a way to secure support those cross them beams in the to middle. support them in the middle. So that way when we put the deck on top, it's not flexing at all when we walk on it. We'll figure it out. Let's do this, guys. Shark week, day two. I mean, roof week. We went to Home Depot last night, number eight, and we got some specialty bolts and end caps for the super strut that are gonna make our lives so much easier. So first up are these cone nuts. They are specially designed for uni strut. They've got these little grippy feet on them that grab to the uni strut, and then this plastic part on top suctions it together so that once they're totally tight, they don't slide anymore. But they're easy to slide in, and you don't have to get underneath the uni strut to make it work, which is our problem from yesterday. Our next purchase are these end caps for the uni strut. So this is going to close off the edges so that there's no rough bits to maybe scrape our legs on. Welcome to Roof Week, Frank. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so in order to tighten these bolts, these are three eighths bolts. So you guys need, are gonna need a nine sixteenths bit or you could say a 14 millimeter to get on top of the hex bolt to tighten it down. Ooh. What do you think, babe? It's not moving anywhere. This is our one little problem though. There's a little bit of give in the middle of the beams here. And so we're gonna have to figure out a way to support them from underneath without scratching the roof. This right here is trip number nine already, and it's only been like three days since we've been back, or working on two days since we've been working back on the van. So I think the number is gonna be pretty dang high. We're gonna announce a giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned. All right, back to work we go. Up the ladder, we're gonna get the rest of the uni struts in, we're gonna get everything situated, we're gonna put the solar panels on today, and then we're gonna go figure out the deck board. So we've got all of our cross support beams up and secured, but right now Frankie's getting the mounting system ready for the solar panel. Since we're gonna be using 3 8 bolts, I'm going to have to modify these brackets just a bit because these brackets are meant for 5 16 bolts. 
So I have the perfect drill bit to drill through and make it big enough for a 3 16 bolt. It's smile sometimes. You should, you should smile while you're talking sometimes. You like working and it's fun to build a band. This is, this is how I smile and talk. Ready? No metal shards on the roof. Always, always, always make sure you clean up all the metal shards. That way you don't have rust on your roof. So we just got to get the solar panels mounted. We probably need one more strip of uni strut. And then we're going to maybe get some wood today. Get, get some, some wood. Today. Hey, wait, I got it. Get some debt today. Get some debt today. What? <laughs> it's the same as wood. So the plan is to now lay two panels down like an 11, have one beam in between of it so that we can step over it, um, and then have the whole back deck be deck. Love a good deck. But now it's time for lunch. How are you think? I'm hungry. We got a great big salad and some roasted potatoes. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Delish on a dish. Welcome to Alex's Fabulous Woodworking Shop. Whoa, whoa, what happened to me? Thank you, over there. Today we are getting the wood ready for the deck. We went last night and spent way too much money on cedar planks. They smell really good though. Yes, and we didn't want something that was pressure treated because we're gonna do a little Lolo 1.0 trick on these guys. Poss possibly, possibly. We're gonna, we're gonna test it out, see if it looks right, if we okay. care to do okay. it. Okay. It smells really good. Yeah, it does. We're gonna have a think about the burning and decide if that's what we wanna do. But first, no matter what, we've gotta sand these bad boys down. Um, what do so. you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Should we do a Lolo 2.0 on the whole deck or should we keep it very natural? The tops kinda come sanded, but the bottoms were pretty rough. So I started the bottoms with 40 grit sandpaper and then I moved to 80 grit sandpaper and that's where I'm gonna stop on the bottoms. The tops, I think I'm gonna do with 220 just to like give like a nice, smooth finish. While Alex is standing, I'm actually gonna grab these little guys right here and I'm gonna get on top of the roof. I'm gonna cut one foot pieces for each one of these and we're going to put them underneath the Kindorf. That way we don't scratch up the top of the roof whenever there's weight on it. As well as I noticed since the panels have some weight to them, when we're driving, you get a, a little shake like this and you'll hear it go ding, ding, ding on top of the roof and we wanna get rid of that. So let's do that. Yo, Alex is doing work out here. These things, oh my gosh, they feel so super smooth right now and they look beautiful. Babe, great job, honestly. <laughs> Back four there. hours of working straight. I didn't even realize hey, get it was over four here. hours. Sorry. And now my back is aching. We gotta yell at Paco so he doesn't go beyond the front area, but I mean the back area, because you're supposed to have the dog on a leash over here. Come on, Papas. Come on. Oh yeah, say hi. It's deck week. Another day, you're making a deck. Deck week. <laughs> we are going to seal them with a waterproof sealant, yes. and then decide if we want to also polyurethane them. I don't think we're gonna burn them though. I think no, that we I think that we're to. good. They look this really look beautiful. beautiful, just yeah. as they are. If it was like plywood, I would say, yeah, let's go for the burn. But yeah, this is this is nice. They Too look nice really wood. good. So we are going to basically spend the whole day prepping this wood again. But before we do that, you need to drill the little holes in them. Deck week. <laughs> uh, so what we got to do is we actually got to take them onto the roof, figure out exactly where they're gonna go. Remember, we could slide and move those. Um, those, nut, yep, those yep, yep, yep. nuts that are gonna be in there. So we're gonna put them up exactly where we want them. We'll space them out. Maybe we'll take one of the boards and use it as a spacer. Ooh. And then and then get it exactly where we want it. And then we can make a mark on where about they should all be. All right, let's cool. go in. Let's do it. Shake, 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 Shannara. Shake your body right. Don't forget to blow your wood off before you try to paint it. Work, 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 Shannara. Work it all the time. <laughs> We're gonna do the first coat of this waterproof sealant. It takes 12 hours to dry, so at 4 a.m. we're gonna come out and do the second coat. Maybe we should find something to pour it into. Oh look, I have a solution. Oh, okay, good. 
Frank's going to, I'm going to send him. No, no, no. Alex is totally coming down <laughs> for him. That's what I was going to say. Alex is coming down to do it at four in the morning. We'll fight about it. This, we'll see who gets this, kicked out of the bed. This is the work conditions I'm under, guys. I'm trying to build you a beautiful deck. <laughs> it's roof week, Frank. you got to get on board. Roof week? No sleep during roof week. No sleep during roof week. No. <laughs> no sleep during roof week. No sleep during roof week. like it was dry enough to flip over into the other side so that is curing back at the house yep. right now we are on our way to our friend nautical nomad's house because we are going to cut in a giant hole in our roof and right now we don't have the tool for it and they're gonna hook us up this is why it pays to have the homies right around you you know and also it goes to show how great this community is because these are people that we just met not too long ago. We met them on Instagram, and sure enough, they're allowing us to come and build right beside them and utilize their stuff. So I'm very appreciative of you guys. Thank you. Sorry for the bumpiness, because this road is... So we're going to get over there. We're going to cut in the roof hatch. Roof week roof is week. going strong. We have one more day to finish out roof week. We are so pumped. Yeah! So let's get this going. We will see you at Nautical Nomad Spot. As you can see, our friends Nautical Nomads are set up right there. They're currently doing some cabinetry for the inside of their bus. They are so much more further along their build than we are. <laughs> so we are gonna cut this roof hatch in. Frankie is about to measure the template. All right, let's get up there. <laughs> I'm gonna do the two corners. Okay, do it. <laughs> Come on, I gotta get my... I'm gonna use these screws right here. These screws to stick through the holes that we made already. And what that's gonna do, is gonna hold the template perfectly in place so we can trace it. And then that way when we cut through, when we go to put up our, our, our separators, they're not hitting that beam in the center there. Roof week. So Liz, what are you guys working on today? Today, oh, come with me. <laughs> we, leaning Barry and Wes, are building our headboard. Ooh. So this is our headboard. This is our flooring. I can't show you that. This will be our laundry chute. Oh, smart. So this will be, have a slant right here and then our pillows will go here. Mattress here. So this will be our laundry chute. This will come down and stuff all the stinky clothes in there. Perfect. Right by your head. So you can yep. sleep next to your stinky clothes. Well, it's going to be sealed so that it's not. <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's the whole point for Perfect. the door and the seal. Because West uh -oh. Whatever. <laughs> the biggest step, filing it down and then putting the paint inside that way we don't have any rust once we put this in. Look how awesome that is! Ready? Wow! So one shot wonder if it's perfectly in the hole. We're super pumped. So Frankie's gonna clean up the edges, we're gonna paint it, and then we can figure out how to secure it. It lists so much light in here. Yeah, it does, right? Yeah. It's nice. We should shut the doors and see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, now, and now we, we got natural our lighting. We're going at the same time. Then, we, yeah, then you'll be done. <laughs> move your, move your right? Just like throw an air mattress on the floor, we're ready. There's party. There's party. <laughs> In the ProMaster roof here, you have these little channels where the water is supposed to flow through. So you kind of have to fill those up when you're going to put down this piece here. This edge sits on those, so you got to make sure that you fill it all the way in. So we're just trying to make some type of spacer, that way we're not filling it with tons of Sikaflex. So we're going to put the butyl tape down right here on these edges now. Oh, 
Frankie's just gonna fill the holes in. We're gonna skip the black things that he had maybe thought of doing. And hopefully this plus the butyl tape is gonna seal it really good. And then we'll do another layer of silicone around the outside. Got a fan them gas with the cock you do. It's cocked like a mother chucker. Take this. Just push that corner in, there you go. Can you grab from inside and pull it down? Uh-huh. Boy, that looks cool. <laughs> wow! I'm hungry. Somebody's cooking barbecue, and it smells really good. It does. Look so. at Paco. Paco. Paco, get out of the street. Get over here. Come here. Come. Let's go. Come here. <laughs> what a dick. Come. Thank you. That was uh, not the best throw, but we made it a transition anyway. Are you guys ready for the grand finale of Deck Week? Because I sure am. We're about to announce the contest also, so stay tuned for that because as soon as all of these planks of wood are up on the van, we're gonna let you in on the big secret. The big secret. I'm so excited, it's gonna be a really good one. No, we're not having a baby, guys. Calm down. It's a contest. Oh, okay. It's not a contest about <laughs> having a baby. Well, you know when you yeah, say like, you there's a big secret, you know what I mean? Like, oh. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we gotta get to work. We gotta Babe, get this wood up on the deck. How good does our wood look? Your wood looks great, Frank. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. One stick. We got one dick done, it's so good. One dick. All right guys, we're gonna save the rest for the final reveal, which will hopefully be coming up right now. To the mountain to climb. You gain reassuring, Mother Nature's procuring. There's no need for doubt in this life. You gain reassuring, Mother Nature's procuring. There's no need for doubt in this mind. Oh. The deck is done. It is done, and we get to enjoy it finally. Uh. So what we decided to do is we headed over to Blind Pass Beach in, in Englewood or Minnesota Key, Florida, and we're gonna watch the sunset and have a little picnic. Yeah, so we wanted to also let you guys know that the contest is on. It's gonna be freaking amazing. For every visit to the hardware store that we make throughout this entire build, we're adding a zero to the end of it and giving away that much money. Guys, we're gonna go all the way up to a thousand bucks. So if we go a hundred times, we're gonna give away a thousand dollars. So make sure that you enter the contest and the details will be down below. Yeah, I'll put a link to it. You have to register on the website. It's much more official than it was before because we actually figured out a prize and we think it's really awesome. So if you guys want to guess how many visits to the hardware store we're making for the chance to win a huge amount of cash money, check down below. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't want to miss out on winning that much money, <laughs> even if it's even if we only go 39 times. That's still three hundred ninety dollars. And we're gonna see if maybe we could get Home Depot to match us. Ooh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, about we're gonna that. try. We're we'll gonna see. try. We'll, we'll see. see. But yeah, so we are loving our deck. Deck week was a success. I guess it was roof week. Roof week. Roof week. <laughs> deck week. Deck week. So we still have a lot more work to do on the build, but for now, we're going to enjoy the fruits of our labor and watch the sunset. 